Hi, Taylor T. Carlson here, and as I'm sure you've noticed, I've been on a bit of a kick when it comes to the Halloween movies lately, mostly because Scream Factory's done such a great job on their reissue series of the first five movies. After putting it off for a little while, I finally got around to picking up Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. This one was released in 1989, and of course is the immediate sequel to Halloween 4, using a lot of the same characters, locations, and so forth. I'm going to unbox this, share my opinions on the movie, talk a little about the bonus features, and let you know if I recommend this work. Here's our cover art. The Michael Myers mask looks a little too much like Nicolas Cage here, if you ask me. I see a lot of forum posts making those same remarks. Side of the outer cardboard cover, top of the cover, bottom is just plain, spine of the disc that's in there. Here we've got our plot summary, list of the special features legalese and the credits. Like the other prior reissues, this one includes the film in 4K and then a Blu-ray disc that has the film as well as the bulk of the bonus features. There is a reversible sleeve here. I already reversed it, so you have something that's maybe a little more akin to the original movie poster art. There's our spine text. Back cover is largely the same as what you'd see on the outer case. Then we open this up. The discs themselves look very nice. We've got our 4K as well as our Blu-ray. And once again, the Blu-ray does have the film on it as well as most of the bonus features. Halloween 5 picks up where Halloween 4 left off. The late Laurie Strode's orphaned niece finds herself institutionalized when it's found that she shares a mental leak with Michael Myers, which manifested itself at the end of the previous film, and she's trying to get help for her condition. Dr. Loomis, of course, is still aware of the terror of Michael Myers, who actually survived his fate at the end of the previous movie, and sets out to do his part to try to stop the uh, infamous boogeyman from killing more. Unfortunately, once again, Myers is on his feet, and Haddonfield has become another ground for slaughter for the deadly killer. What are the secrets of Michael Myers' origin, and how can this possibly lead to his potential defeat? Will Dr. Loomis and everybody else be able to get there in time, or will there be other powers at fate that prevent everyone from doing their part to bring down the killer? Halloween 5 was rushed into production after the success of Halloween 4, and it definitely shows some signs of being a rush job. There's great casting here, and a lot of the set pieces and even some of the killings committed by Michael Myers are pretty imaginative, but you also get the idea this was a very troubled production, there's an infamous Man in Black subplot that is manifested mostly at the ending of the movie with just tiny little teases throughout the movie, but it's never developed, and so this just ends up seeing like a very half-finished production. Even the beginning of the film that explains where Michael Myers came from and how he survived was completely rewritten, and what was rewritten and put into the final film really makes no sense. You just get the idea that the filmmakers, even though they do their best with what they have here, were just kind of going through the motions. The script was a real mess, and what we got to be the final end result here really didn't impress too heavily. There are things about this film I do appreciate. It's still pretty well shot, and it does deliver in the gore and violence departments, much like its predecessors. Well, I wouldn't say this is a horrible film. I don't think you're going to see it on anyone's list of the greatest films in the Halloween franchise. I am happy to say, however, that Scream Factory continues to knock it out of the park with these reissues. This is the film looking the absolute best it ever has. The remaster job's absolutely great. Of course, the accompanying Blu-ray looks really good as well, but the push you get from things like HDR, that looks very nice here, and I think I could say without hesitation, it is the best that the movie has ever looked and quite possibly ever will look. If it is the best the movie will ever look, I'm okay with that. Nice big special features package once again. A lot of these features saw the light of day in earlier Scream Factory reissues of the movie. We get the usual cast and crew interviews and making of featurettes, a few vintage pieces, another episode of the series Horrors, Hallowed Grounds, where they go around exploring the locations of filming. But the real treasure trove here is that we get a few pieces of violence that had to be cut from the movie to get an R rating, a little montage of scenes like that. And there's even a reconstructed, originally scripted intro to the film 
not the one that made it into the final movie. This is sort of a reconstruction using found footage, and it looks surprisingly good for what it is. It's a nice piece of history, and I think that's going to be what appeals most to the longtime fans here. Are you a fan of Halloween 5? Where would you rank this one in the overall chronology of the series? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel for more content because I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. See you next time.